Hi everyone, my name is Cole. And I am Ian. We're here from Kettering University's Bulldog FRC robot in three days. And this video will be taking a look at our pneumatic system. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Well, welcome, welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, supported by Stryker Careers. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many first alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. As you can see right now, our pneumatic system is not exactly attached to the robot. That's by design. Right now, we've had some difficulty getting access to the robot as we're working through a lot of our mechanical systems. So our pneumatics, we've been primarily building and assembling and testing off board the robot in a very similar fashion to what you see here on the table, attached to the robot, wired correctly, but not in their final mounting places. We are using mostly typical, fairly standard components in our pneumatic system. We have a very typ typ typical compressor that you'll see on most FRC pneumatic systems with all the required regulators and pressure gauges and switches. We are following the FRC rules at storing our pressure in two accumulators at 120 PSI and our work pressure past our regulator in our solenoids and in our cylinders is 60 PSI. That is all per strict FRC pneumatic regulations. We currently are using, we have two solenoids. Both are two-way solenoids, each having access to their own cylinder. We are using eight inch stroke, three quarter bore cylinders. We're going to be using this on our game piece intake system. These are going to be controlling the position to raise and lower that system. We decided to use pneumatics rather than some sort of motor electrical due to the speed that you can get with that. These pneumatic cylinders can cover that full eight inch stroke in about half of a second. So to get over and intake those game pieces, it's going to be much quicker using a system like this rather than getting a motor. A, a lot of motors, we wouldn't be able to achieve that speed, and if we were achieving that speed, we'd be using a very hefty motor to do so. So we're going to use pneumatics for that. We are also making use of new for this year, the Rev Pneumatic Hub. This is replacing on our design previous uses of the pneumatic control modules. The Rev Pneumatic Hub goes with a lot of Rev's new electrical systems with such new features as a USB-C port for us to diagnose the CAN and check some functionality of our components. We have a switch now to move from 12 to 24 volts, whereas previously a connector that had to be pulled out and pulled in. We have new connectors for CAN and our solenoids that make some of the plug and play that we're doing here a lot easier. And we also have the ability to interface with some of the new Rev pneumatic components some of the new uh, pressure sensors that they have available. We're, go we're still using the old school, more typical pressure sensor on, this, on the main manifold there right off our compressor. We can now do a demonstration of our pistons and you'll be able to see why that for intaking game pieces, we really had to go with pneumatics because we can get some great speed running these. They're not under load right now, obviously, but under load, these are going to be very much at about the same speed. So we can fire those out and retract them. The advantage of using two position cylinders and solenoids that are capable of running them is we have a powered extension and a powered retraction on these cylinders. Some cylinders are only powered in one direction. We decided to go with both for that quick speed and having more control of our robot when we're intaking those game pieces on the field. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out some of the other videos and our live stream presented by FUN here at Kettering University for the Bulldog Robot in Three Days. Thank you. Thanks to Stryker Careers for their support in this video. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Thank you to Annie Mark, Rev Robotics, and the Thrifty Bot for being official suppliers of the Bulldogs Robot in Three Days.
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.